Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is almost that time, guys. Premier League team of the season is right around the corner, and we have leaks of what players are going to be in packs this Friday for the first major league of team of the season. There's definitely some surprises, some names you wouldn't have expected to see, but some that we were all looking forward to at the same time. I want to look at those, and to not get too far ahead, also look at what's happening today on a Wednesday for live team of the season. It is a foot champs rewards day. It's a big day for that. And still the potential of a guaranteed live tots SBC could be happening today. So we're going to talk about that and more what there is to look forward to today on this game. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Now, before we look forward too much, guys, we got to look back to yesterday. What an Evo EA dropped yesterday. But before we get to that, we'll cover the SBC content really quickly because it was an okay day of SBC content. I mean, hey, at least the 88 plus campaign mix upgrade came back and it does include now, like we were hoping, ultimate birthday players instead of the versus cards. For most of you, that's a dub, right? I saw a player pick of this yesterday that was actually all foot birthday cards. Um, they weren't very good. I think Hegerberg was the best one, but I think that's solid. Like, you know, it's pretty cheap to craft as well. 86, 86. I think right now for me, there's too many other SBCs out player wise that I want to do, AKA Haver. So I'm not doing these, but it is nice to have that sort of option there if you're chasing any of the players that that maybe does give out. We also had a player SBC yesterday, not team of the season related. It was a player of the month, um, Zagrova from League One. Just a pretty average card, really good dribbling and pace though. Four star, four star, high low work rates and decent play styles, especially rapid, technical and quick step. I bet his dribbling with those stats is very good. So that was the SBC content yesterday. Now, if you did miss it, yesterday was the final day of, or sorry, not the final day. I keep saying that because I know most of you guys probably finished the daily play, um, but it was the first day actually that people were reaching the final part of the live tots daily play. And of course, of this, once you complete this, you got a tots guaranteed pack. That is not just a pack that contains tots live cards guys that can be saved it can be either tots lives tots um, regulars tots moments and even tots plus cards that will be coming out in the weeks to come i think some people are saving this pack for premier league tots and the cards that drop this weekend just to have a different type of pool of players the potential of packing a prem tots player of, the, of those we'll see league today uh, from that pack that's one thing i did want to mention from that yesterday now if you're not done yet you can still do it today there's an extra kind of uh, leverage there with the one day extra so that is very nice of course on that let's go to the evolution this is the big thing that is moving this game right now i mean guys i did not expect to see a tots evolution yesterday we've been having the you know evolutions the last couple of days and they've been solid right but this is a whole nother level i know it's a hundred thousand coins but the upgrade that you get the crazy meta cards that you can create with this evolution make every single cent of this worth it guys this evo is insane all right let's talk about it why is it so insane first of all you get four play styles including power shot plus and finesse shot along with i think it's first touch quick step in there as well really really good play styles to add to the card it's only squad battles gameplay just kidding there are three rivals games that you have to get done uh, or play with this player as it's not that many games and you look across it and look at that boost plus seven pace guys you can create 99 paced players from this since there's plus seven pace boost anybody who has um, above 92 pace you're getting plus seven off that so you can go to a 99 pace player the upgrade across is so big guys the creations of tots cards with this evo are insane now it's not an evo that you can get a three play style player with but the stats that you can get with some of these players are just disgusting. Kiesa is one of those cards that is up on the market a ton. Gold cards are on the market, right? Like 10,000 coins for some specific golds and silvers because people are putting them into these Evos. Kiesa is 10K and people are even paying 86K for this version of Kiesa that has a dynamic image just so the card looks better because remember the Nike cards have the exact same stats as the golds, but he is definitely one of the better cards in this um, evolution. Five star, five star because there's a weak foot and a skill move boost there as well. That's the big thing with this too is that it's creating a lot of five star, five star players and people are going bananas for it. If you're lucky enough to pack 83 rated Cold Palmer from a informed player pick, look at the state of this card. 
that is on par probably maybe not with the passing and the physical but that's not going to be too far off from what his team of this season will be as a multi-million dollar card in the next week on this game that's insane if you have 83 rated Cole Palmer in for him, sell it if you don't want the Evo because he is literally extinct max price, 60,000 coins. But he's also a crazy looking card with this double evolution into formidable in form and the moment of truth. Always, as we talk about though, these Evos, remember that some of them are no longer possible to complete. Like I think this Barcola with 99 shooting, like these Evos, they're not around anymore. Power Shooter, FC Founder. So do some digging, do a little bit of research, but there are so many crazy Evos yesterday, guys, we were looking at. It's amazing, right? So many of you guys probably even have cards in your club that you've Evoed before or that you've been hanging on to that fit this Evo. For me, I think I'm going to end up doing my Jesus Fedeta. He's going to be able to fit into this Evo. Um, and I know it's worth 100,000 coins. He's going to have 99 shooting. So I'm basically going to put this card in that evolution. And he's going to get upgraded even more. He's already 5'5". Five, five, but add more playstyles in there. This card's going to be absolutely insane. That's kind of like my Evo creation that I'm working on right now. But there's even some really good... Um, chains that you can do with this unleashing potential the formidable inform in there as well even attacking mid and defensive mid connections there's some crazy chains guys so even if you don't know who you want to do right away just sit on this it's out for 21 more days before we have to decide who you want to put into it it's insane the hardest part is overall max 84 that's probably the hardest part with this but it takes a very good player already and takes them to insane insane stat levels if you get the right evo stuff going so that right there with so many attackers being uh, created through evolutions yesterday guess what's down on the market yeah you guessed it attackers guys i could have sold my zahas yesterday for two hundred and seventy thousand coins but i wasn't on the market and thinking at that time as he went up from 240 to 270 bros all the way back down to 232 if you take a look across the market look at rafinha rafinha was 880k yesterday nine hundred thousand coins he's 730 right now because of this evolution dropping right wings and left wings on this game like that is a card that has been hammered in price because of that kudus is down saint maximin is down uh, we already mentioned the zaha and if you start to look on out of packs cards as well there's plenty of players from other promo teams that are down in price just because people are selling them to go and replace those players in their teams with a new evolved version of some player that looks absolutely cracked and i completely understand why also coins were drained from the market yesterday whenever you have a paid evo like that People are going out to the market and buying informs for max price or gold cards for a crazy price. And then on top of that, a lot of people are paying 100k worth of coins to actually start the Evo. So market devalued a bit yesterday too. That would be another reason why you saw some price drop off. So that's one thing I wanted to mention because that was the biggest piece of content yesterday and arguably one of the craziest Evos we have seen this year. Now, before we talk about these TOTS Live cards, there's one TOTS Live player that we have to mention. It is Kai Havers, man. Chelsea letting Arsenal score five yesterday. We'll, we'll say it that way. Five nil win for Arsenal, which means all they need now is one goal. And this Havertz is clinched. It's 94 upgrade, making it the best Tots Live card in terms of upgrades so far. The furthest progression already has two games in. And it's, it's crazy. This is, feels like it's Rolfo or the team over in SBC all over again with how good value this is looking right now with about to get two upgrades for this Havertz card, which is a G freaking G. So they do play Spurs next. They'll probably score a goal. They don't even have to win. Hopefully they lose, right? Coys. But this card is looking like a really, really good um, investment into an SBC. I have been doing the SBC. I'm five squads done now. I need to get a couple more done here. And we will have ourselves a 94 rated Havertz very soon. The next question I have is, fantasy upgrades happened on Wednesdays, right? When are these upgrades going to happen? Like, are we getting the first TOTS Live upgrades today for those few cards that have actually clinched the upgrades, um, which I think actually only is Havertz. So we'll see if they actually upgrade Havertz today. Um, that would be crazy. I think he actually is the only card as of content drop today that will have played two games. So I don't know what the upgrade day is going to be for this. I guess we probably won't find out until later unless it is going to be Wednesdays and Havertz has already hit the criteria. So maybe he does. That's a big question that I have, but looking at some of these tots live cards today is a big, big day for these prices. I think too, guys, because, okay, here's the thing I can't shake. When I think of tots live, 
I know that we have Premier League team of the uh, season coming. Those are big cards, big ratings. There's going to be so much hype for them for sure. But I can't shake it, guys. Live promos this year just always do good in terms of out-of-pack investments. And I think that cards from this team are going to end up doing really well too with more leagues of team of the season coming after this. Even some of the cards from Premier League teams, La Liga, League One, Serie A might do well in the weeks to come just because they're still live and there's going to be more team of the season leagues coming out um, that they could link to in terms of players. Like this Klaus is going to be one of the better League One right backs. He's only 110,000 coins. So with these cards today, it's a big, big day for their price because today is weekend league rewards payout day. Now, I know some of you guys, probably a lot of you guys, have already finished your weekend league rewards, but you would be surprised at how many people actually wait until the rewards are paid out. They don't gift matches. They just wait. They hit their rank and they wait for the rewards to be paid out because they think that's when they get them. That's the old system. That's how it used to work. That's what they're just used to, right? And most people don't think to give away wins for games. They're just like, oh, I hit my rank. I'm done. I'll get my rewards and they come out. I think there is going to be a bit of supply that comes onto the market, but there's also going to be coins put on the market today. And I actually could see some prices rising from this TOTS live team. Specifically, I think the rare cards, the more expensive top tier ones, the rare ones would really have a boost first. I think those would be the cards that if you see people getting coins, oh, I can finally go and afford X player that I want to buy for my team, whether it's an investment or whether it's just a card that they want to buy for their teams. I think you could see some movements maybe on Bissek today. I actually bought an Allen St. Maximin about 15 minutes ago for 780K because he's got a game today. It's his first game, right? There's potential of the hype to build up into that one. I know he dropped off yesterday because of wingers being down. He was 880 all the way down to 780. So I was glad to pick him up there. It's that sort of stuff that I'm watching today. Still feels weird though to invest in something like that before we're going to have Premier League Team of the Season cards dropped. So be careful. And if you don't want to mess with it, then don't. Um, but I just think something's going to be changing with those prices today. Also, again, the guaranteed TOTS pack for live cards, if that comes out today as well, could be a market mover. Last thing I want to mention is, as I'm going to open three player picks here, I don't know if you guys have seen this or not. We just packed a blue. Well, wow, what a great time to show this and also pack a blue. Wow, that's going to have to up the counter. Wow, we are at eight team of the seasons now. Fantabulous. I opened the 450K pack yesterday. I hit 10 million coins, so I told myself it's time to spend some coins on packs, um, and I only packed three blues from it. But this is the confusing thing. After EA updated the game yesterday, you can no longer see which player you're on for player picks. You have to rely on you moving on the cards and seeing them kind of wiggle, right, to know which one you're on. So, like, I know right now I'm on Rafa Mujica, and I'm going to take that card, but it's very annoying that this happens all the time in this game where... EA changed something and it somehow messes something up on one other random area of the game. Um, wow, that set of three player picks there was insane. 88 Bernardo, 84 Tamori, and Rafa Mujica. All right, cool. I'll even take the Fodder Tots card. That's just one thing. If you noticed that, I noticed that as well. Everybody's kind of complaining about that right now. Um, it is annoying. That's kind of yesterday's content in a nutshell. It was kind of a busy day. There was a lot going on. If you want to look at more Evos, we did do a video on the second channel talking more about those evolutions and some of the crazy players that can be created through it. Now, let's get to what we're here for, guys. Premier League Team of the Season Leagues. If you did not catch up on these yesterday or if you're just so interested with this team and you've seen them, but you're like, Nate, what's going to happen with these promo cards and this with this team? That's what I want to talk about, guys. Premier League Tots Leagues have started to be released. There's going to be more today because we don't have the whole team, but this is who is in as of right now. FIFA Romania says the Tots Premier League Strikers Edition, he's saying Holland, Cole Palmer, and Ali Watkins are all in Premier League Team of the Season. Now, First thing you might see when you look at this is, wait a second, Ali Watkins, 93 rated. Isn't that a bit low for somebody who scored so many goals and so many assists in this year in the Prem? Yeah, it is seemingly a little bit low, but I doubt Ali Watkins is one of the headliner players of this promo team. Just being completely honest, he could be 94, maybe even 95, but I feel like 92 or 93, he's probably going to be one of the best budget strikers added to this game this weekend of Prem Tots. Cold Palmer, we know what's going to be going on there. His card is going to be very expensive, very hyped, incredibly juiced. And again, we all, these cards, we all expect them to have three play style pluses now heading into the real team of the season players. A lot of the live Tots had three play style pluses. 
these cards all need to have three playstyle pluses as well, especially the top tier ones for sure. And then Erling Holland, not a big surprise there. The thing that I want to bring up with Erling Holland is his team of the year is 97 rated and he has two playstyle pluses. But look at his price, 5 million coins. He has been down and I wouldn't be surprised if he dropped even further because I do believe, guys, that all of these Team of the Season cards will have three playstyle pluses. So who's going to want to use a Holland that is 97 rated that only has two playstyle pluses when the one that has three playstyle pluses is out? I would expect some more of these Team of the Year cards. There's another one I'll talk about in a second. I expect their prices to drop because people will be preparing for the new better version with that third PS Plus. Let's move on. More leaks. Saliba. Two years in a row now. Saliba's getting a Team of the Season card. Yo, if I think that card, the stats on that guys is way too juiced like is it deserved yeah maybe but 97 defending 96 physical and 94 pace i mean come on i think this is a bit of a overshot prediction i think those stats are a bit too high i think 96 rating is even a little bit too high so i wouldn't expect to see a saliba this good but i would expect to see a very good saliba as a part of the center back pairing of this team of the season side three play style pluses this card i mean he doesn't even need to be 96 rated because he's still going to be absolutely broken. Um, and that card's going to be insane. Saliba is such a good center back this year. So many people have used the Winter Wild cards, evolved versions of him. Crazy, crazy card. Another center back that is leaked, who other than Virgil van Dyke? He's probably going to have three playstyle pluses as well. I think even FIFA Trading Romania tweeted and said he's going to have Anticipate Plus, which is going to make him the best center back in the game. Hands down, we all know how good VVD is. People are going to want this card and they're going to pay whatever they have to pay to get it. I mean, Team of the Year VVD guys was extinct at 15 million coins for a very large part of the last three to four months on this game. He's now 8 million coins, 8.4 mil. He dropped off a good amount yesterday because the same thing that I mentioned with Erling Holland. He might be a 96 rated Team of the Season card, but he's going to have that third play style plus, and he could be. They've done this before where Team of the Seasons are higher rated than their team of the years or have just slightly better stats or slightly mixed up stats in different areas um he could be better than the team of the year for sure even with stats and not including the place that pluses so people are selling this vvd because they know they're gonna have to use those coins to probably pay 10 million coins 15 million coins for team of the season vvd he might be the most expensive player in prem tots let's be honest with how op vvd is and if you pack him <laughs> call yourself very lucky that's gonna be your best pack pull of the year let's go to another leak we have ben white he is confirmed for epl tots as well this was retweeted by fifa trading romania um this is not a normal leaker p Kelme. i know who he is he's a really great guy but he uh is not usually somebody who's leaking cards i think he's an arsenal fan though and i think maybe he got the news and was like just allowed to tweet it out or he wanted to tweet it out i don't know I don't know how these guys get their leak information. I'm just guessing. After FIFA Trading Romania retweeted this, Ben White's getting a right back Tots card. Probably going to be center back alternate position as well. He's going to be, I think, a bit of a cheaper one and lower rated. But I honestly think this is going to be a really, really good card. And a lot of people are going to be able to get him because he's only going to be a couple hundred K. That's a card that could be very, very good inside of Premier League team of the season. Last official Tots card that we have leaked right now of like the real team of the season players. Hyun Min Sun is getting into team of the season Premier League as well. Uh, this will be the card that I'll be chasing my hardest, of course, to pack. Now, the question is, are they going to make him five star, five star like the foot birthday version was? Because this is definitely going to be a card that is very meta. A son, always meta, right? Whether it's the Tots, he had the player of the month earlier this year. Very solid year for Son. He might be one of the only Spurs players to get a team of the season. If I'm being completely honest, as a Spurs fan, I think he deserves it. Anybody else might be a little bit of a stretch. We'll see. Maybe an SPC or something like that for another Spurs player. But that card is going to be expensive and he's going to be a beast. Now, a couple more things about the last two players that have been leaked so far for Prem Team of the Season. Foot Sheriff said yesterday that TOTS for the top five leagues will include three moments players in packs. It's actually very um, close or basically the exact same thing that we had to last year with the full Premier League Team of the Season side. We had 11 plus four, and then we had three moments players son Varane and reese james and of course last year everybody was like why is Varane and reese james in this 
did, what did they do to deserve any type of team in the season card? Because they didn't have that great of seasons. Well, the team of the season moments cards, they really aren't for recognizing somebody with a great season. I think they're really just more of a way that EA can put big names in packs to try to sell packs. And they say, oh, this player had a really sick moment during the season, a really big opportunity, a really big goal. And that's why they're getting this tots moments card not necessarily being a deserved team of the season player and as you look at some of these player names that are leaked to be team of the season moments players like and cuckoo is coming as a tots moments like sure i'm excited for this card because he's gonna be cracked and cuckoo is always op his winter wild cards with technical dribbling is pretty crazy in this game and i remember using the cuckoo last year with the balloon dynamic right when he played for leipzig that card was nuts he had an insane team of the season card last year in fifa 23 too but i know it's just kind of funny to make the meme of like bro why is it, what's this for what moment did he have right he's been injured for almost the entire year but he's getting a tots card and it's going to be a fun card in this game but just again to remind you that it's not based off of anything he did it's just more for like, here's a cool card to put in packs for a moment that he had type of situation. And the next player name, it's kind of even better. Garnacho is coming as a Tots Moments player soon. EA is dropping the big names, guys, especially in these moments cards. Um, doesn't look like he's an SBC or anything like that. Looks like he is going to be one of the three moments players in packs for Premier League team this season. So you have Garnacho and you have Nkunku. I don't know who the next um, Tots Moments player is going to be. Probably a defender, if I would have to guess. I'm not entirely sure who that's going to be. I don't know who the goalkeeper is, guys. Uh, we don't have a lot more leaks, apart from the fact that I think there are six total Arsenal players. That was another leak that was posted yesterday. Six Arsenal players have gotten into Premier League team of the season. So you can kind of go ahead and do the math of who you maybe think that's going to end up being. But it is going to be six Arsenal players. And that's going to make up um, a predominant portion of the team. Now, remember last year, there were six Arsenal Tots players as well. And they were all so low rated that people were so disappointed at that because it was like EA had something, an agenda against Arsenal cards. I don't think that's going to happen this year. But uh, that's just something to kind of remember. And again, those cards last year were Zinchenko, Odegaard, Saka, Martinelli, Saliba, Ramsdale. And uh, you, you might see plenty of those players in this team this year too. I think Saka, Odegaard probably get in. It just kind of comes down to what's their rating, how juiced are they, and that sort of thing. But watch out for more leaks today, guys, because I almost guarantee it. There will be plenty more names posted today, more leaks, maybe even SBC players and stuff like that. The names are going to be flying and the hype is going to continue to build for Premier League team in the season. So with that being said, let's talk about today really quickly to end off the video. What to expect on a Wednesday today. Now, I mentioned it in yesterday's video and we talked about it a lot. There's still the potential, guys, that EA could try to send us off out of this live TOTS promo with a guaranteed live TOTS player pack SBC. I'm not going to sit here and talk about it for a whole bunch more because we spoke on it a lot yesterday. If you want to go check that out in yesterday's video, if you didn't see it, go ahead and do so. Um, but I really think it's possible that could happen today. They could also forego it because it's a live card promo and they don't want to give out live cards to everybody a, a second time, I guess, because they've already given out the live TOTS cards with that pack that they dropped on Friday, right? Literally just logging in and you get a live TOTS player. So I don't know what they're going to go for with that. I'm just saying there is a potential of that. That is a part of team of the season normally. Um, so that's one thing to kind of look for on the game today is that live tots pack. If it is going to come today, guys, if that pack comes today, watch very closely the prices of the meta top tier live team of the season cards, because they could start to be invested in by a lot of people as well. Usually that is a time where you start to see those player prices go up as people are like, okay, I opened my tots pack, didn't get who I thought I was wanting to get. They go out and they start buying. There could be a lot of market movement today on the live tots. Closely watch that. Other thing I want to mention as a part of today's content is we still have three players that have been officially leaked for live team of the season to be released. And these are their official stats. I don't know how uh, the leakers have come across these, but it is Udol, the French left back. It is Adriana from the NWSL, a Brazilian striker. Hopefully five-star skills, finesse shot plus, and Gabby Vega. That's a decent looking card. Only two play styles, but power shot and pinged pass for Gabby Vega. We'll see if those come today or if one or two of those come today, because we only have two days left of live tots, but we have three leaked players. So I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work unless they're going to drop one 
after the promo and cards and packs have gone away. So that's one thing to watch out for today. Probably a daily or probably a player SBC. Um, other than that, guys, today is just going to be a day to keep grinding the gameplay, getting those rivals wins. That's probably what a lot of us will be focusing on or playing champs qualities. Man, I'll tell you what rivals is sweaty but this is the last chance to get into a new division I, I played three rivals games and i've lost or drawn all of them in division two they've been close i could have won but i've kind of thrown it away in the end um i really got to get my seven wins because the packs are just so good from these rivals rewards taking those untradeables and saving them for premier league team of the season that is at least my play and the last thing i will remind you with as well is xp um, I'm saving my weekly objective right there. I'm not going to claim it because I'm going to hope that that 800 XP will go forward into the next season. And speaking of XP, you may have missed this. I don't know where it's at in the menus, but uh, EA actually added something. It was very interesting yesterday. Um, they added a bonus XP warm-up. Yes, that's what I want to see right here. But where was that tab at? Bonus XP warm-up. Um, basically until the season resets, every match you play in squad battles, rivals, and champs, you get 50 XP for. So if you're behind on XP, that is a great way to try to get caught up. If you're grinding some games today, that is one thing I did want to mention right there. Um, if you're seeing like random 50 XP after every single game, that is why. So yeah, guys, that is the game at the moment. I'm watching live tots cards very closely today. My two investments are one ASM. And I still have two Robinsons from yesterday, but I'm just lazy listing those, trying to get a, a lazy sale. He's actually dropped from where I bought him. I picked up Rafinha at 700,000 coins on a snipe. He's like 750. Um, so I picked up Rafinha and an ASM. We'll see how those card prices do today. I'll be watching them very closely with the time that I have. And we're doing it on stream. And of course, seeing what kind of content EA dropped today. Maybe they'll surprise us with something. EA, it's team of the season. Keep it rolling. That Evo yesterday was great. Drop another one. We'd be super down for that. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate's account. See you guys in stream today. Peace. Out.